In 2011, the government of Israel, headed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, initiated the national program to reduce the global dependence on oil with the aim of encouraging global innovation and scientific breakthroughs in the field of alternative transportation fuels. In order to promote the goals of this initiative, the Prime Minister's office, along with the Ministry of Science, Technology and Space and Karen Hayesod, will grant an annual award, the Eric and Sheila Sampson Prime Minister's Prize for Innovation in Alternative Fuels for Transportation. This prize of 1 million US dollars will be awarded by the Prime Minister of the State of Israel on a yearly basis over the next 10 years. This is the biggest prize awarded anywhere in the world in the field of fuel substitutes. Eric and Sheila Sampson, Israeli citizens, international business leaders and philanthropists are deeply devoted to the State of Israel and committed to the mission of Karen Hayesod. For administration of the prize, the Fuel Choices Initiative established an independent board of trustees headed by former Technion president Professor Itzhak Apolog and including seven prominent researchers from Israel and around the world. My name is Mercuri Kanazidis and I am a professor of chemistry and material science at Northwestern University. One of our major projects here is to create materials that convert heat to electricity. These are called thermoelectric materials. In a vehicle, 75% of the energy that is being generated by burning the fossil fuel is being lost out the exhaust. You can take some of that heat, convert it into electrical power, put it back into the vehicle and increase the mileage. If you save fuel, automatically you're saving CO2. In the last 15, 20 years, uh, new concepts were developed, many of them in our lab, uh, that enabled us to raise the efficiency by more than 100%. And that has generated a lot of excitement. Awards like this, in my view, motivates many others around the world to work harder or to come to the field and make breakthroughs themselves and push the technology forward. We're very excited about what we're doing at the moment because one of the things that we have identified is a new class of materials that have very low thermal conductivity. We're quite hopeful and excited that we will have the next great result, hopefully down the line in a few months. I'm Greg Stefanopoulos, and I am a professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at MIT. The main focus of my research is to engineer microorganisms and convert them into little chemical factories so that they can produce biofuels, chemicals, and all sorts of different products. When I first heard that I won the prize, uh, I had a hard time to believe it. I said, no way. Uh, slowly it sank in, and the initial surprise was replaced by immense satisfaction and happiness. Awards such as the Samson's uh, Prime Minister Prize are extremely important to allow someone to maintain the momentum and keep moving towards the goal. Another very pressing problem uh, in the utilization of fossil fuels is uh, finding replacements for diesel. Uh, the kind of work that we are doing now in my lab uh, is uh, aiming at the engineering of organisms that will utilize carbohydrates and make molecules that can be used as uh, diesel in all of these different industries. I think we've made uh, uh, great uh, improvements and I'm looking very confidently into the future that some of these processes are going to find their way into the commercial marketplace.